Hello everyone. I have a story I'd like to share with you today, but before that, I'd like to start with our I can't statement for our lesson, for our reading lesson. And today we're going to be talking about illustrations in the story. And our I can statement says, I can use illustrations to help understand the story. Let's read that one more time. I can use illustrations to help understand the story. So we're going to be talking about how the illustrations can help us if we're not sure about something in the story or how they can give us more details than what the words are going to give us. Before we get started with that, we need to cover some vocabulary words. One of the first words that we need to know is ashamed. And ashamed means to feel foolish or sorry. Ashamed. Bold. Bold means to be brave. If you're feeling bold, you're feeling brave. Jealous. Jealous is wanting something that others have. Confused means you're not understanding. Secure means you're feeling safe. So if you're feeling secure, you're feeling safe. Amused means you find something funny. And frustrated means you're feeling angry because something is not turning out in an expected way. Something isn't going the way that you thought it would. And to help us learn how our I can statement, I can use illustrations to help understand the story, we're going to use the book, How Are You Peeling Foods with Moods? This is by Saxton Freeman and Juiced Elfers. How are you peeling? How are you feeling? How do you think these oranges are feeling? Let's look at them. How do you think these oranges are feeling? How did the authors help show you what they're feeling? Take a second to answer that question. How did the authors help show you how these oranges are feeling? I noticed that the authors gave the oranges eyes and noses and mouths so we can see how these oranges are feeling. This one looks happy or amused, and this one looks a little bit sad. Happy, sad, feeling blue, feeling bad. Can a gentle smiling friend try to cheer you up again? When you have to wait because someone is late, are you bored, jumpy, worried, grumpy, excited as the minutes pass? Now your friend is here at last. Look at how those fruits are feeling on this page. How are you when friends drop by with someone new, a little shy? The authors use a rhyming text. Which word rhymes with by? I'm gonna read it one more time. How are you when friends drop by with someone new, a little shy? What word rhymes with by? Shy. What does it mean to feel shy? Look here, the turtle is, well, 
the fruit that kind of looks like a turtle is putting his head back in his shell. He's feeling shy, which means he's feeling a little bit like he doesn't want to talk. He might be a little bit embarrassed. Don't belong, not for long. Feel secure or not so sure. And remember, secure meant to feel safe. Which of these green onions look like they're feeling safe? Amused, confused, frustrated, surprised? Try these feelings on for size. There are four fruits and vegetables on these pages and four moods. Can you match the moods to the foods? So the first one is amused. Which one looks amused? The green pepper. Which food looks confused. The red pepper. Which food looks frustrated? For sure the orange. Look at that face. He's got some eyebrows pointing down and his mouth looks angry. And which one looks surprised? I think it's the apple, because when you're surprised, sometimes your mouth goes, oh, and that's how the apple's mouth is looking. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Look at all of these kiwi and all of these emotions. What kind of emotions do you see on this page? When you're attacked, do you react? Someone is yelling on this page. Compare how the apple, orange, and red pepper react. How would you react to somebody yelling? So if we look at the apple, the orange, and the red pepper, how is the apple reacting? Or the orange, or the red pepper? The apple looks like he doesn't really care. He doesn't care that this orange is yelling. The orange looks really angry about being yelled at. And what about this red pepper? The red pepper looks sad, like it might cry, like it's upset. How would you react if someone were yelling at you? feel when someone is mean? Timid, bold, or in between? Bold was one of our words that meant brave. When you're angry, do you pout, whine, cry, scream, shout? Feeling sorry and ashamed? or embarrassed to be blamed. Jealous. Remember, jealous means that you want what some, something that someone else has. Disappointed too, when you are hurt, who comforts you? Who makes you feel better? when you get hurt. So many smiles. Can you decide who's feeling safe? Who's feeling pride? What has the author and illustrator done to show the large pepper is feeling proud and the small peppers are feeling safe? Let's look. Here's the large pepper. How can we tell that this large pepper is feeling proud? Look at his mouth. 
What kind of expression is this? A happy or a sad one? It looks like he's smiling, so he's proud. And then the little peppers, they're looking up at the big pepper. How can you tell that they're feeling safe and secure? Wired, tired, need a kiss? Do you know anyone like this? Do you let your feelings show? Who do you love? How do they know? How do you know, let your families know that you love them? When how you feel is understood, you have a friend and that feels good. How are you feeling? Which one of these fruits or vegetables looks like you're feeling now? All right, so the food in this book was made to look like faces. How would the book have been different if real people had been used in the illustrations? Was it exciting to see the fruit with faces? Did it make the book more enjoyable for you? So there were some different moods in this book. So we're going to list some of them. We already have some with our vocabulary. Some felt ashamed, bold, secure, frustrated, jealous, confused and amused. Some others that I remember are worried, tired. So what I would like you to do is to make your own sentence. You're going to say, I feel blank when blank. For, for example, my sentence might say, I feel confused when I first learned something new. And then I'm going to draw an illustration to show how I feel. So if someone doesn't know the word confused, my illustration can better help them understand the story. So now it's your turn to be an author and an illustrator and use your pictures, your illustrations, to help people understand your writing. I can't wait to see a picture of what you create.